Let your spirit return to observing itself. Spirit is the one that's alive within the body. Let the one that's alive within the body return to observing itself. The one that's alive within the body is the only one that's alive. And this one gives life to all the different organs, all the different processes that are happening within the body. The return to realizing yourself as that one. Which means not to become confused with your creations. They are not you. So return to being you. And as you, you have infinite possibilities of what you can dress up as, of what you can experience within yourself. So let's observe the spirit to find what is holding the spirit back. Who is the adversary within the one, the only one? How can there even be an adversary? This is the one continuously becomes many. Just like in the body, the one becomes many, many different parts and pieces moving together to become one. So too, in the perceptions and the desires and the feelings and emotions, and the sensations, the one becomes many. When the, when the one becomes many, the one can be in conflict with himself. And this is the source of every adversary within the spirit. It's the one that became many and is now in conflict with itself. This is the source of all the limitations, all the constrictions, and the root of all suffering. The one has forgotten that he is one, and it became many, he became many so convincingly that they are fighting with each other. Do you remember where else this happened? That the one became many and then they fought with each other? It's called humanity. Like within the individual, so too within the collective. Like within the collective, so too within the individual.
the one that becomes man, wants to always remember that he is the one, so that he doesn't get in conflict with himself. Internally and externally. So the spirit, dressed up in many different forms, forms in the world of thought, forms that only appear in perception. Yet, while dressed up in those forms, it interacts with itself and with the world. Those forms are the creation of the spirit. And yet those forms are also the adversary of the spirit. To the extent the spirit doesn't fully comprehend its own creation, those forms can limit and constrict the spirit and even cause it suffering. So we want, in order to remove our adversary, we want to unite with our adversary. We want to unite with our adversary because we are our adversary. Everything in our mind is us. Everything inside of our perception, we are creating. To unite with our adversary is to remember the true nature of reality. For the one to take responsibility, to take charge of all the many that it has created. As the one takes ownership over the many, the many can no longer cause damage to the one. When the one denies responsibility or ownership over anything that's happening inside of it, then that part can cause damage to the one. That part is now on the other side. The side where the owner has removed himself from that portion of the spirit. In the collective, this represents people who have forgotten that they are part of the unity. Those people can cause damage to other people and to themselves because they don't realize their true nature. So just like in the individual, 
those areas of self that the one doesn't identify as self can cause damage to the one, so too in the collective, those individuals who don't identify as the one can cause damage to the collective. So return to realizing the true nature of your experience. Return to realizing the nature of the conflict. The conflict inside the individual that limits their power. conflict between the forms, the forms created by the one, but forms that have forgotten who they were designed to serve. So unite as the one and unite the many with you, all of the many, even what might seem to you as the ugliest of them. One, one day you might think they're the prettiest. But just unite with all because they are simply different faces of your very own spirit, of your very own life force. The same life force that's creating your thought right now. They are you and you are they, all of them, all the conflicting parts. Bring them all together so that you can come together. And unite internally so that you'll be prepared to unite externally when the time comes. 